Aloha, I'm Joshua Cooper. Welcome to Cooper Union, what's happening with human rights around our world on ThinkTech Live. Broadcasting from our downtown studio in Honolulu, Hawaii, in Moana Nui Kea. Today, we're focusing on the Asia Pacific Forum on Sustainable Development, the Voluntary National Review and Voluntary Local Review, Country and City Checkup on the UN Sustainable Development Goals on the ground in the Asia Pacific region. The Asia Pacific Forum on Sustainable Development is an annual gathering of governments and regional civil society coming together to share about the 17 UN global goals on the ground in the nations of Asia Pacific. The Asia Pacific Forum on Sustainable Development provides opportunity for community organizers to share the genuine situation people experience from the community to the city to the capital. The UN Sustainable Development Goals are the core currency in the conversation, bringing together the country to prioritize what is necessary to improve from the neighborhood to the nation on sustainable development rooted in human rights, justice, and freedom. The Asia Pacific Forum on Sustainable Development provides a chance for civil society to share prior to the actual voluntary national review and also the voluntary local review at the UN high level political forum at the UN headquarters happening later in the year. Today, we're meeting with people who are actively engaged to bring the UN global goals on the ground in the nation. Bunton, thank you so much for joining us. Can you share with us a bit why the Voluntary National Review is so important. Hi, Joshua. Thank you. I am, um, want, uh, I am uh, Bunton Chantalabung Viso. I am the president of the Alliance for Democracy in Laos. I am from Germany now. Uh, we think the even our uh, win is very important for us. Why the VNR can report about how is actually in our country, the SDG from 16 SDG, what has been the government to go? But we see that the, uh, in the Laopedia is not every uh, SDG had to, um, to in practice for the people. And uh, the VNR must tell how must the SDG in Laos better for the people. Without VNR, the people don't have any uh, possible to change what's the problem uh, uh, about um, development in this country. The people need SDG from 16 SDG for the people for every goal must to change better for the people. Thank you so much. We know that there are 17 global goals, but it is true. SDG number 16 is very vital for Laos as global goal 16 focuses on peace, justice, and strong institutions. I also like how you shared but the VNR is so important because it allows the people a chance to speak and have their voices heard this week at the regional gathering so that they're able to then connect with other civil society from around the Asia Pacific. But as you said, in July at the global level so that people on the ground can share their truth and discuss with the world, what matters most to them to make sure that their governments are held accountable and that the governments can't just say that all is well, but that the people themselves can share what needs to be done. Christian, can you share a bit why you believe the Voluntary National Review is so important? Uh, thank you, Joshua. I, mean, <clears throat> I am Bun Hong Kian Ka. Uh, President of Alliance for Democracy in Laos and Chester, and very, very happy today to share with you um, the importance of the VNR because I, I think that um, at the review, uh, 
demonstrate a lasting commitment to implementation of the 2030 agenda and a sharing a, a global a goal, as we know. We are now are a mechanism of accountability and for monitoring progress under the 2030 agenda. As the program is rooted in human rights, it is essential to assess um, the progress made in a sharing first sustainable development that leave no one behind. This is uh, the core currency of the principle of the sustainable development. But in law, nowadays, I am very, very concerned that the goal we will not uh, carry out and remain a huge challenge because uh, of the lack of the respect of uh, the right of the citizen, of Lao citizen, okay? It's, it's very important today. Thank you. It is my take on it. No. It's an excellent point. I think you brought up something that is absolutely crucial that in the UN 2030 agenda, one of the yeah. main pillars is to leave no one behind. And the other part was also furthest behind first. So it prioritizes the people who have not been centered around and included in public policy at the city and county level, as well as at the national level. So furthest behind first and leaves one no behind is absolutely crucial as we go forward for the 2030 agenda. Yeah. And that brings us then to Marcus. Marcus, can you share with us why you believe the VNR is so important based on your experiences so far? Well, at first, uh, I have to mention that the, the, the good thing is that there is a VNR. That, that is at first of this, uh, a really, really good thing. And uh, that so many countries took place on this process and done it. This is uh, the good thing. But unfortunately, yeah, okay, we know some countries use it, misuse it for, for uh, so called flower speech. They say, ah, oh, our country is the best, and we are the best country of the world, and whatever. And uh, here we have the possibility uh, to observe these countries, in, the, in our case, this Laos, um, to, say, uh, to see what to choose, uh, if they do right. Is everything real uh, a good on a good way? And this is the possibility for people and organizations like us uh, to bring the message what is right and what is wrong. And uh, there is no other message, uh, there is no other possibility to do this. But that, is, that, that is the main thing, I think. No, it's true. What is crucial is that when the UN 2030 agenda was created and in 2015, when the 17 global goals were recognized for all countries and every country agreed to implement these important global standards at the local level and in every capital around the world, it guaranteed that everyone everywhere on earth could aspire to actualize the various UN 2030 agenda in their own lives. That's so crucial. And what was also important, as you said, is that there was some review created so that it wasn't just, these are the goals and we hope they happen. It was a new process set up that happens at the regional level with the Asia Pacific Forum on Sustainable Development, which is taking place this week in Bangkok. But also, as you said, at the global level, at the high-level political forum in New York, where we can look at what's happening. Bunton, looking now, what have you done so far 
to bring the global goals on the ground. What has been the first steps we've seen so far in 2024? I remember there was a conference in Vientiane. Can you share with us a bit what that was like and what Alliance for Democracy in Laos is doing here at the next steps? We have now been prepared for the, the VNR for July this year. And now we have um, a very information from, uh, from our activists directly from, uh, from Laos. And we have um, information about uh, how half the people uh, they are living now with SDG. We see that the Lao people they don't have, um, example, uh, SDG. 16. It's very important for the people. The people don't have right of assembly. They don't have right of media, especially uh, social media. And uh, they don't have right for political or for uh, NGO. Uh, so reported about uh, what the government have something better for the people. Um, we have now, um, we prepared now report for the VNR to tell about what is reality with SCG in Laos now. What the government of the Lao Pia did not take, uh, they don't make something for the people or they don't implement the SCG for the people. Uh, example of the people, uh, the, uh, the, Lao government, uh, they don't allow for the people to tell about their living. How poor the people in Laos now is. The people are very poor. Why a big problem with land grabbing, too much land building in Laos, too much deforest, too much influence from China, from Vietnam, uh, from the dictatorship system. Uh, our report will be reported about uh, uh, a violation from human rights of human rights uh, for people in Laos now. It's very important. Uh, the Lao government have last month the um, conference for uh, prepared for VNR. Uh, we was in this conference too, but I see this. Uh, the, the NGO from Laos, they don't have uh, possible to tell the reality in Laos that the SDG don't implement it now. Uh, we, the uh, um, ADL, we, we, we prepared our report, we will tell on re everything from SDG what not implemented La in Laos now for better for implementing in every goal from SDG in Laos. Thank you, Buntan. That's very important. So there was an early process, which was important that the UN initiated a conversation allowing the Lao government to assemble NGOs to come together. But you bring up an interesting point that with this Asia Pacific Foreign Unsustainable Development, sometimes the NGOs or civil society are not independent, and those are known internationally as gongos or government organized NGOs. And that's what brings up why it's so crucial the role of Alliance for Democracy in Laos, because you get the information directly from people impacted who are trying to defend their land, who are trying to make Laos a better country, such as Sombak Sompon. And when they do stand up for themselves, Horrible things happen, such as disappearances, or unfortunately, even sometimes killings and extrajudicial executions. And so the role of Alliance for Democracy in Laos and why the Asia Pacific Forum on Sustainable Development is so important is that Global Goal 17, the partnerships where people come together and work with the people on the ground who are directly impacted so their lives can be improved. And that this 15 years can actually have a reality that changes people's daily living conditions. Christian, can you share what have you done so far and what's ADL focusing on 
to bring the global goals on the ground. Okay. Thank you, uh, Sojado. I am uh, very, very happy to, to know the, the statement of Dr. Vinton, and I agree with her because the, the most attention that we have now today in law is um, SDG 16 because it's the, the source of uh, the happiness if the human rights are respected and in law. This is uh, very important uh, to the people because we, we have repeatedly uh, tes testimony from our member in the ground. It is uh, uh, very, very uh, uh, sickening. People uh, suffer from the lack of the rule, of the law, and from corruption as well. Um, since uh, nothing has been resolved, you know. On the contrary, respect of human rights backslides and become worse nowadays in Lao PDR. And I, I want to, to add a four um, SDG in this um, a forum because this is the essential of uh, the social justice. I mean, uh, SDC 16, SDT 5, 4, 3, and 1. You know, yeah, these SDC are not achieved, are not carried out nowadays in Lao PDR because the real reality that mentioned Dr. Benton is, is uh, very, very. Um, uh, significant, very significant, significant, you know. Uh, uh, why, uh, how, how to do that? We, we defend uh, uh, the right of other people every day with our action in Europe uh, Union and um, also speaking to the member in, in, inside the country, you know. Um, so at the Vienna Hill recently in Vientiane, at the capital of Laos, the key point underlined by the expert versus social justice, the fight against massive corruption and equality of genders and human trafficking is very, very um, important for us for our people uh, living inside the city, you know. I, I want uh, that Lao government um, take account and um, take account and implement the recommendation of international community. This is that all, it is all. And the program will be will be resolved. Thank you. So that's a very good point, and you really do highlight why this voluntary national review is so crucial, and why it's important to have an independent civil society to focus on accountability and transparency. And you did bring yeah. up a good point. SDG 16 is very crucial. If there's no democracy, it's very difficult to have yeah. development. And you also bring up no poverty, goal one, number two, zero hunger, number four, mm -hmm. quality education. And education is essential to uh, be able to mobilize. And we know that Sombon Sompon studied at the East West Center in University of Hawaii, and then was bringing back the traditional knowledge of farming, but also combining new technologies with video advocacy so that more people could be involved in regenerative agriculture, which we see a resurgence on Maui and Hawaii as well. Marcos, can you share a bit of why and what have you done so far to bring the global goals on the ground in Laos? Yeah, the good thing um, I can tell you is uh, that we are involved in this process from the first day the countries of the United Nations decided to do 
That's a really good point. So what is part of this process is first, the governments must write a report. So in a way, it's a report card where governments self-reflect and see how they've been doing on these 17 global goals on the ground. But what's also crucial is the stakeholder report, the one that's drafted by civil society, the one that's drafted by different major groups and other stakeholders that focus on specific global goals or the most important human rights in each nation. And that is the important part that now, not only is there a review of every country in the world, how they're doing on these 17 global goals, but also there's different reports that we can always reflect on as well as you're sharing about being able to see those reviews, the actual VNRs at the high level political forum. Unton, can you share with us though, why is the Asia Pacific Forum on Sustainable Development a crucial conference? And what actually happens during the Asia Pacific Forum on Sustainable Development, which begins this week in Bangkok? Um, we will give uh, our um, report and our statement about um, how reality, how true problem in Laos now. We will tell about our uh, problems uh, from the people in Laos. Uh, our report is the everything, the reality with the, with the people living in Laos now. If it problem, the people don't have human rights of the assembly, of the media, and uh, of the political life. And the problem with human rights violation, especially the killing of our activities, uh, killing of our uh, activities in Laos now is big problem. The now PDR didn't tell about two problems with human rights violation. The government tell about now in Laos is very good with human rights, but in reality, how the people have more and more in, uh, impression. We are living in Laos now. The Chinese people, they have now more rights than the Lao people. Chinese influence in Laos is very, uh, very big in Laos now. Why the Lao government have uh, allowed Everything for Chinese investor in Laos. They they have buildings, too much casino in Laos. They building too much dam in Laos. They make too much land grabbing for the people. The Lao people now they are poor and poorer. This problem will be our report to tell in this uh, time. The re reality in Laos now, and um, I think our report will be uh, maybe 
only our organization tell about two problems in Laos now. And we need work together with other NGO in this time in the Asia Pacific now to tell what is the two problem in Laos with SDG. The government don't implement it. any SDG in Laos now. This is reality. Mm. Thank you so much. And you really highlight that the chilling effect of what happens when the activists who are really the champions of these global goals on the ground are silenced through intimidation and actual human rights violations. Can you share with us, Christian, why you think the what happens during the Asia Pacific Forum on Sustainable Development is so important, where we know the first thing is an opening, all of the regional entities of the UN, specialized agencies, programs, and funds, the UN Development Program, the International Labor Organization, UN Women, all come to share their actions on the ground. Can you share a bit, Christian? Okay, no, okay. it's very important. And I, I want to add to uh, what uh, Dr. Bunton said today in this forum is very important. The, Reality of the life in love is very, very difficult. All the goal of SDG is not um, uh, tackling uh, by the Lao government. I, I think it gives me the word. Uh, the Lao government mock the international recommendation. Every time and everywhere, and when they uh, make a statement uh, in front of the community of the world, this is uh, the 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 pretty verse, the the verse not no sense, you know. But in reality, Lao people uh, suffer from the lack of all application of all implementation of human rights and and the goal of of human rights when i i look at uh, the international aid you know it's a, a large amount of money but this money doesn't go to the people what is the problem what is happened really in Laos, uh, Everything is clear. It is massive corruption. Uh, that the expert uh, during the Vienna held recently in Vientiane on the line, the massive corruption, you know, this it, it is uh, the cause of the, uh, the social injustice. We want social justice for Lao people. And, and why? We day after day, we we try to to share the difficulty of our people in the ground by uh, uh, talking in our TV, uh, broadcasting uh, every, every two weeks. You know. Thank you. So what's really crucial is that you're pointing out is we are re really now at the halfway part. The UN Sustainable Development Goals Summit just took place last September, and now we know it's the second half, and that's when all the games are won. And what you all described and have shared to us is so crucial because we know the Voluntary National Review and the Voluntary Local Review is a country checkup on how it is doing with the global agenda of the UN SDGs. And nations share their improvements and initiatives to create new chances in communities, cities, and capitals to achieve the UN 2030 agenda. And the work that you're doing as stakeholders to demand that the governments do better with the global goals on the ground is absolutely crucial. I want to thank you all for joining us and everyone for watching Cooper Union. We look forward to sharing the results of the Asia Pacific Forum on Sustainable Development as we go forward together for a better world. Mahalo.